تمام طيب الحمد لله والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله as i mentioned the knowledge of hadith مصطلح حديث is important to review طيب عليكم السلام to to review and also it is good to practice and what is the way to practice يعني check the books because many times uh, the brothers they or the sisters they read the books but they don't check the footnotes because مصطلح you'll find you'll find مصطلح حديث in the footnotes down at the bottom of the page you'll find the مصطلح حديث you'll find this hadith narrated by Tirmidhi this hadith Bukhari this is mutawatir this is munqati' mursal authentic not authentic the problem most of the people maybe don't care about what is down they read the page okay uh, this is very very important why because suppose the author write yeah because some of them they write the hadith but they don't mention this is not authentic they mention in the footnotes okay so yeah and maybe now, now nowadays if you are writing a book okay make sure that people are not educated enough to check the footnote so don't mention the not authentic hadith or if you like to mention it is not authentic mention it before the hadith and it is mentioned in the not authentic hadith this and this okay so yani be careful don't say well i mentioned this and that's it they should understand they should check also i, I have to be careful yani like the doctor okay if i am a doctor i give you the medicine خلاص يلا this is your medicine Habibi, I should inform you, this medicine should be taken twice a day, after the meal, before the meal, with water, without water. Everything is mentioned. Okay, everything is mentioned. But this is my duty. I am a doctor. And you are the patient. You are, you are not a medical person to check everything. This, this is what they taught us in medicine. This is our duty as doctors to teach people how to use the medicine or the pharmacist. Don't say, well, everything is written. This is not enough. Why? Because people are not responsible to read everything. And the same thing if I am a scholar, if I am author of a book, I should clarify everything for people. I should make it easy for people. My book is for talib ilm, for people who are specialized, okay. But if my book is about sira, okay. About, if it is about Sira, about the stories of the prophets, alayhi salatu wassalam. So everyone is reading this book. Young people, old people, men, women, educated, not educated, Muslims, non-Muslims maybe. So I should prepare it for the, the target who are reading it. Okay. So if you remember, we mentioned hadith mutawatir and ahad. And if you remember, mutawatir means marawahu jam'un an jam. It was narrated. Many people didn't compare to many people. What is the meaning of many people? Some scholars said ten and more. Ten and more. And the other type, Ahad. And Ahad has three types. Gharib, Aziz. What is the third one? Who? Huh? Ma'roof? Mashur. Mashur. Okay, Mashur, the Ahad, and um, I emphasize this point, this point many times. Ahad it doesn't mean Wahid, because some people misguide, I mean some da'ya misguide people when they mention Ahad. They want people to understand Ahad means one. No, here it doesn't mean one. It can mean nine, because if you remember Mashur, Mashur can be from three to nine. Three to nine people. Aziz? Two, غريب, one. Okay, so these are the types of hadith. Mutawatir, ahad. Ahad, mashhur, aziz, غريب. طيب. Okay, and what is this مقطوع, موقوف? What is missing here? مقطوع related to تابعي موقوف related to صحابي and what is missing 
مرفوع يس ويهان مرفوع مرفوع means it is related to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم okay and also there is قدسي قدسي by Allah سبحانه وتعالى حديث قدسي it is not Quran it is حديث قدسي and the scholars mention the difference between uh, Quran and حديث قدسي طيب the the types of hadith also I, I mean different category, categorization uh, they mention hadith sahih lidatihi authentic by its own Sorry, by my hand ran here. You can understand. This the, the types of hadith. Sahih li dhatihi. So this hadith is authentic by itself. What do they mean by itself? If you remember, maybe the first halqa, we mentioned the conditions of the hadith sahih. Do you remember the conditions? When the hadith is authentic? Chain. Huh? What is the What is the condition? Huh? If you remember, we mentioned that there are five conditions to decide this hadith is authentic or not. Okay. Uh, There should be chain, and this chain should be connected. Okay. Not, not Allah. Uh, huh? What does mean Allah? Uh, no, 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 yes, no hidden defect. Not shad. Yes, the narrator should be Adil Dabat. Ah. Let's say good narrator. When we say good narrator, it means good memory and Adil, he's a good person. Justice. Justice. So these are the five conditions. أوله صحيح ومتصل إسناده ولا مشد أو يعل بنقل عدل ضابط عن مثله معتمد بنقله وضبطه. So to decide this chain is authentic, there should be a chain, and it is connected. Okay, uh, يعني it is not مقطوع, uh, it is not مرسل, it is not موقوف. Okay, and also the narrators should be two points: عدل وضابط. What's me عدل? He is a good Muslim. He is obedient. He is not فاسق. Uh, the memory also should be okay. They said tam What does it mean tam His memory is perfect. Yeah, for example, if he narrates hundred hadith, maybe he has a mistake on hadith. So we consider he's perfect. Yeah, and you, the mistake is one person, he is perfect. And there should not be a hidden defect. Okay, this is a big subject, hidden defect, يعني how to decide there is a hidden defect. Okay, the great scholars يعني decide this, like Dara Qutni, Imam Ahmed Bukhari. And also it should not be shad. What is the meaning of shad? 
شاد لي سي مخالفه الثقه لمن هو اوثق منه وين ذا ذا جود ناريتر وين هي از كونتراديكتينج انذر وان هو از سترونجر ذان هيم يعني فور اكزامبل هو از سترونجر بخاري اور ترمذي عند الحديث both of them are ثقة they are good the best narrators الرواة but everyone agrees that Bukhari is stronger so if a Tirmidhi narrates a hadith different contradicting the Bukhari so which one should we say we cannot join them we cannot take both of them we have to choose one of them so which one we choose Bukhari So now the narration of Tirmidhi is called Shad. So if you consider Tirmidhi alone, oh no, this is authentic. It is sound. It's okay. But I tell you, but Bukhari narrates something contradicting Tirmidhi. There is one word, maybe not the full hadith, only one word. Ah, sorry, we'll tell Tirmidhi, your narration is Shad. We'll not take it, but we'll take Bukhari. So this is the meaning of shad. Or sometimes it is not one by one. Maybe Imam Muslim, one of the great scholars, he is Jabal. He's like a mountain. Suppose he narrates a hadith and he mentions a word in this hadith. On the other side, we have Bukhari, Muslim. Uh, or Sorry, I will not mention Bukhari. We have Tirmidhi, Nasai. Imam Ahmed, Ibn Majah, Al-Darami, Al-Tabarani, Al-Tabari, 10 scholars. All of them, they narrate the same hadith except this word. They don't agree with the Muslim in this word. So which one we take? We take the 10 scholars. Okay, Muslim is great scholar, but we tell him, sorry. In this word, we'll take the narration of the 10 scholars. So. His narration, I mean, Imam Muslim is Shad. His narration is Shad. Why? Because plenty of scholars opposed him. Okay? Yeah, but not necessarily means uh, contradicting information. Like, like, uh, the other day you said, you know, you, uh, It depends. Some scholars consider this as contradiction. Some scholars said, no, we can't accept. It's a deviation. Hmm? No, the point is, we mentioned hadith. We gave an example of shad. There is hadith that the Prophet ﷺ was raising his finger during the tahiyyat. At tahiyyatu lillahi wa salatu wa tayyibat. Okay? So he was, we agree that, or the narrators agree that he raised his finger. He raised his finger. This is agreed upon. Okay. Now, All the narrators, they, or there are, let's say, 10 scholars narrate hadith from one sheikh. Nine of them said the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam raised his finger. One of the 10, only one of the 10 said he raised and moved. So he added what? Moving. Okay. So some scholars consider, they said, no, this is shad. Why? Because nine of them did not mention the moving. They said also only they, he raised his finger. Other scholars said, no, this is not Chad. Why? He said, because he added something not contradicting. He raised the finger and he moved the finger. So this is okay, no problem. So, for some scholars, consider this is shad. They say because he added something not mentioned by nine of the uh, nine of the uh, the people who attended the same lecture. Some scholars consider this as shad. Some scholars consider as contradicting. But some scholars say, no, this is okay. So in this case, it's better we don't... Uh... It depends what is your manage. <laughs> Study, then decide. 
So, yeah, like a Sheikh Al Albani said, this is okay. This is okay. Moving, yes. Because he did not add something opposite. He added something to the, to the meaning, yani. It goes with the, the, the hadith, it doesn't contradict the meaning. It's okay. Tayyip? Tayyip? So, these are, these are the conditions of the authentic hadith. Tayyip. So, it is called Sahih li dhati. So it is authentic by itself. If you fulfill the conditions. No, no, general, general, the, the, uh, not the earlier scholars, the late, like Ibn Hajar and the others, they mentioned this. This. Mm. We'll not say each Imam has his own rules, but generally they agree on the, these rules. Generally. Yes, yeah, maybe some of them uh, about the connected chain, they have their own opinion about the Mursal. Because what does it mean Mursal? When the Tabi'i says, Qala Rasulullah, so there is something missing. We don't know who is missing. It is only companion, companion and Tabi'i Allah Alam. So they consider. If the Tabi is a great scholar, we will take him. We consider him. But generally, these are the rules. Okay? So this is authentic by itself. Now, about the, five, uh, the fifth one. The, the, if the, the scholars are good or perfect in their memory, and they are justice. If the memory is not perfect, they said, Tam al means perfect. If he is khafif al What does mean khafif al yani His memory is okay, but he's not perfect. He's not 99%. He is 90%, his memory. Yeah, for example, if he narrates 100 hadith, he will give you 10 mistakes or 9 mistakes. So we say he is not perfect as a memory, but he is okay. Then the hadith will not be called sahih. It is called hasan. It is hasan li dati. I have a problem in writing Arabic also. Because <laughs> no school. So it is called Hassan li dhatihi. Okay? Hassan li dhatihi, if there is. I will not say if there is a problem in the memory, if the memory is not perfect, but it is acceptable. This is okay. So this is called Hassan li dhatihi. So they say, Matasala sanaduhu binakl al adl al khafif al dabt. Al Hassan has chain connected no hidden defect it is not shad and it is conducted by narrator whose justice and his memory less than perfect not perfect less than perfect this is called hassan this is called hassan okay it should be connected for the hassan it should be connected if it is not connected, it is not authentic. The chain? The chain, yes, the chain. What is <coughs> There should be a chain. There, there should be a sanad. The, the authentic hadith, it should be by sanad. Okay? There is one rule that should lead each other. This is the meaning of connected. This meaning of connected. And also, should they meet or only to live in the same period? Imam Muslim said, it's enough for me if they live in the same time. But Al-Sukhah said, no, you have to prove that they, they, may, they met. Okay, we live in the same time, but I'm Kuwait and you are in India. 
Imam Musa said, no. He said, it is enough. Maybe they met in Hajj, in Umrah. They visit each other. Okay? So if, we, if there is less memory, not perfect, so we call it Hasan li datihi. It is Hasan li datihi, by itself. Tayyib. If the hadith, you have one hadith, uh, you have hadith and you have chain. And this chain is Hasan. Then you have another chain for the same hadith. You have another chain for the same hadith. And you have also the second chain, also Hasan. Then the third, the fourth, you have maybe four or five different chains. And all of them Hasan Lidati. Hasan Lidati Hasan. Then we say the hadith is Sahih Lighirihi. It is Sahih Lighiri. It is authentic by others, not by itself. It is Sahih by others. Of course, which is higher, Sahih or Hasan? Sahih. So this is upgrade. Because it is Hassan from this side, this side, this side, then we say this is Sahih al Ghayrihi. The last point. If there is a problem in the, in the conditions, like what? His memory, maybe you, in the chain, the narr- one of the narrators is not good in his memory. Maybe. 60, uh, يعني, the mistakes, 40% or 50% mistakes in his hadith. Then we say this, this chain is da'if. Okay? So suppose, يعني, يعني, generally speaking, if, if you miss one of the conditions, then this is not authentic hadith. Okay? So let's take that. If there is a problem with the memory of the narrator, he is just his good man, he is Imam, but he has a problem in the narrator, in the memory. Again, you have another chain. All the conditions are okay except the last one, his memory also not good. 50%. Then you have a third, a fourth, a fifth, you have six, seven chains. All of them, but alone, not authentic because the memory. Then we say this hadith is Hassan Lighirihi. If you study every single chain, you say this is not authentic chain. Why? Because one of the narrator, his memory is not good, 50%. But I tell you, but I have this chain, second, third, fourth. I have five or six chains. All of them, they fulfill their conditions except the last one. 50% his memory is not good. We say, but if we have plenty of chains for the same hadith, then we say, this is acceptable hadith, and we call it Hasan li ghayrihi. It is acceptable because of the other chains. It is Hasan because of the others. Okay, and maybe some scholars say, this is the most difficult one. Okay, to, de- yeah, and to decide to upgrade the hadith from da'if to acceptable. Yeah, Sheikh, this all chains for Hassan Ghairi, mm. they all have the same memory problem or only one chain is having the right problem? All of them. All of them. Because if the others are okay, then I will say, it is Hassan li Right, but one is chain. No, all the chains, suppose you have five chains, and all of them have, of course, not the same man, it should be a different man. And all of them, all of them have a problem with this point. I mean the memory. Yes. Sorry, sorry, in my example, the memory. But maybe, maybe one of the chains, the first chain, one of the narrators has a problem in his memory. The second chain has a problem in the connection. It is munqata, maybe. Okay, uh, and the second also Munqata will not say Shad, 
Okay, we will not say shad, okay, but maybe mursal, it is mursal. Okay, so the, at the end, the scholars of hadith will decide can we say this is hasan li ghayri or not? Or maybe it can, it can be sahih li ghayrihi. You can upgrade it to sahih li ghayrihi. Or maybe mutawatir. Okay, yeah, for example, hadith al uh, udunani min al ras. In the wudu chapter, in the purity, chapter of purity, there is hadith. The Prophet said, Al Udunan min al Ra'as. The ears are part of the head. Shaykh al Bani said, This is mutawatir. Why? Because there are many chains for this hadith. Some scholars said, No, this is not authentic hadith. So some scholars said, This is not authentic. And he said, This is mutawatir. Okay? So according to his opinion, he said, I have plenty of chains, maybe 12, 14. Yes, all of them has a problem, the memory maybe and the connection. But he said, I consider all of them. So definitely, this is a hadith from Rasulullah. And this is mutawatir. I mean, yani, uh, I'm giving you the, the basics, but... To decide this is authentic, not authentic, Hassan li ghayri, Hassan li dhati, it is not easy. I mean, especially Hassan li ghayri. Not easy. Why? Because you have different chains which are not authentic. Then when we can decide it is Hassan li ghayri or not. Okay? And of course, yeah, and they, they say when, uh, the, 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 the narrator should not be a very bad man. We are talking about a good man, but he has a problem in the memory. Little problem. Okay? Sheikh al Albani said Mutawatir. He's authentic. Yes. Yeah, it is not only Hassan li it is not only Sahih li This is Mutawatir. A lot of chains. Okay. So it has a higher degree than Sahih. Yes. Yes. Mm. This is different categorization about about the name, not about the authenticity. About the name, we have Hadith Qudsi, Hadith Nabawi, Marfu' Mawquf, Maqtu' This is, we are not talking here about the authentic, not authentic. The names. Okay? Jazakumullah khairan.